Megan, thank you so much yeah, for coming here. I sat up all night and then had the wildest dreams. Mm -hmm. It really affected like my REM cycle. My aura ring was like, whoa, what happened last night to you? Yeah. And it's because I read every single page of your book and I just sat there for oh, a couple of hours just really taking it in. Can I read you the poem that made me have to put the book down on my chest and think for a while? Yeah, I would love that. Okay. Did you read the book? Did you read it? You know what? He, he was on the bed. I will always be in love with the man that you'll never become. And the poem is called Unrealized Potential. Can I ask for you what this is about? I think that could be applied to many people throughout my life, but I think when you're in a relationship with somebody who you see so much potential in them and so much you connect to their soul and you know who they could be or who they should be. Um, and because of their own childhood traumas and unhealed issues, they're not able to be who they're meant to be or who they can be. And they operate at a lower frequency than where they should be. And they are, uh, they wear a, a mask of, so of someone that's not really who you know that they they can be to you and you know that they could treat you better and that the love could be so much stronger and could be special and this relationship could be so much more, but because they're not willing to get the help, they'll never be their best self. And so you can stay and forever be in love with who they could possibly become one day, or you know, you could move on and it's a, it's a gamble because you don't want to waste your life and your time waiting for somebody to grow into themselves because that may never happen. But I feel like a lot of us do that. We're in love with the potential, not the reality. Okay. <laughs> that was such a healing answer because I think why it affected me so much is I'm still stuck. You know, I'm still closed for business. Mm -hmm.